Hi everyone, welcome to the Gish Vlogs. Don't vlog man the Gish sign up. So today I'm going to say welcome to Zanisha's vlog because this is my solo vlog. Today I will be reacting to my own Miss Nepal performance. So I'm um, Miss Nepal boy, go log vlog. And this is the first time I'm watching my own performance. I don't know how this is gonna be, and I'm so excited. Masanga video I could hear about it, and I've been wanting to do this, so I'm so excited to be able to do this. So let's watch um, my Miss Nepal performance together, and I'll be reacting to it. And let's see how this goes. Let's go, Miss Nepal 2009. Okay, so um, so Bakhari, I'm doing a cultural dance career, and I look so young, and I think I look quite cute, so I'm quite happy with this. Malga dira prashanda yu nun tiya tebala hosts. So I remember your formation, bano ne bela matse. Mere saathi Aisha Karki was on the side, ne? Ita mere side ma sab panna kuna ma. Until it's malai. I don't want to be on the side I don't want to be on the side to practice the time so I was like fine and I have to shift and first of all we have a tag that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G so I don't know I was like M or something like that and then we have a formation and then we have a number that is a contestant number and in this formation my contestant number was 09 because I was placed there and then I realized that 9 was quite lucky for me then What do I do? I think in 2007, she was contestant number 07 I think Sugai Kadhi was 05 So Sadiksha in 2010 was contestant number 1 So for a couple of years, I think in 2007, I was contestant number 7 So I was like, I'm going to go to the attack and I'll do the research But I was Contestant number nine in 2009, so I think that was already a lot of good luck for me. Anyways, let's move ahead. Okay, I have my introduction on last day, so let me see how I did my introduction. Moving over to contestant number nine. Loud cheer from the audience, that's a good sign. A woman is a full circle. Within her is the power to create, nurture, and transform. Good evening, respected judges, dear parents, and all of you who've come to support us here tonight, despite what's happening outside. And of course, everyone watching us live on NTV, I am Zanisha Mukhtan from Bodha. Thank you. Please welcome contestants number 10. <laughs> Ah, not bad. I mean, I think I look quite confident. I na taro mane alka impromptu say despite what's happening outside. The one ko kina wanda kiri last moment yo kiri. I think the bala mouse sir le say ita may ugar noon yo kipe pan sa talay. They were against the pageant, so by the way, I think that whole thing, I know, that like that, that kind of pageant start going on. Right? So wow, God's for man, impromptu changing my introduction, but well, not bad, quite confident. Good, good, good. Okay, okay. Now we'll just skip our subject introduction. Then I don't wanna, but we'll just skip. Okay. What a fantastic lineup of judges. It's 
ओके अब यो बेला चाहिँ साडी लगाएर आउनु पर्थ्यो त्यो बेला साडी लगाउने त्यति साह्रो प्र्याक्टिस भइसकेको थिएन भनौँ न इट वाज स्टिल क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट फर मी वान अफ द फ्युअर फर्स्ट टाइमहरूमै गरिरहेको नै हुनुपर्छ सो लेट्स सी हाउ आई वक आई थिङ्क आम गन लुक अकवर्ड बट लेट्स सी so so decent walk but i knew also at the time walk wasn't my strongest um suit uh, so i think i'm the only one holding the sari a little bit you know not the most confident walk but i have a very confident face and i won miss best walk at the end i don't know how but i did so i guess there was at least something in my walk maybe confidence about the one or i don't know it <laughs> doesn't look so good टप टेन अनाउंसमेंट हो बैकग्राउंड में बस So I mean I think I was very confident I'll make it to top 10 uh so no not much of a surprise here I walked fine I look confident I look good move on to my top 10 question answer It's so funny because I've already uh, sort of forgotten some of the faces here I mean some of them are still my friends some of them I'm like completely clueless about like naam pani yaad chhain re sake malai You know almost 200 years ago Napoleon said give me good mothers I'll give you a great nation What do you think of this statement and why Even if it was said 200 years ago I think Napoleon said what Napoleon said was very true because ever since I was a child and up till date the only person i've always looked up to has always been my mother and she has had such a great impact a such a big influence in my life that i am here standing in front of you today and definitely if the entire nation has beautiful mothers encouraging mothers then our nation will go step to step only forward thank you sir thank you so much anisha please welcome ashwin Oh my like, god, you know, not, not not because I'm sad or anything but it's like a little cringe a little funny a little good also okay and I'm like seeing myself in like this baby version is making me feel like so cool to cool to you know all the last one like that so a little awkward kale ko just bhai raha tha but I'm like oh my god so well done for trying so hard kale ko ke so in any any case that was I think uh quite a good answer for um uh, uh not so ke bhanne not so asked khale ko question so miss the uh, practice hune pehla ma chai we get a lot of like um test paper practice garchin pehla so like that ki we make different questions and um and answer and practice अं तेज बेला में हमें कति विभिन्न टाइप को क्वेश्चन आंसर प्क्टिस गए थे आई डोट थिंक एनी वन वुड हेव प्क्टिस लाइक टू हंड्रेड इयर्स गो नेपोलियन सेट दिस वट डू यू थिंक एक्सप्लेन यू नो सो इट वॉज आई थिंक क्वाइट अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन इम प्रम टू स्टेज को लाई एंड आई हेन्डल इट क्वाइट वेल सो वेल डन यंग Hi Richa. Hello ma'am. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fine. What do you consider to be most urgent or pressing social problems in Nepal and why? Tapai ko bichar ma Nepal ma sabhanda tin jatil samajik samasya haru ke ke hun? 
र किन the major political crisis that we are uh, facing at the moment would be the forming of constitution without which there's no law and order in the country it is because of it is because of the lawless land that we are facing at the moment we all are having to see indiscipline and the road on the administration offices everywhere that i go and the crimes that we see increasing every day it is because of the weak law that we have in the country at the moment so i believe that it is the forming of constitution that we really need to look upon seriously at the moment and we all have to uni- unifiedly work at it and work really hard to making this constitution may forming this constitution a success which has already met its deadline that is may uh, may of 2010 So let's work together and let's try to make this a success. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so that was Richa Thapa, who I definitely considered one of my biggest uh, competitions at uh, Miss Nepal because she was so well read and she was so smart and uh, she was so confident. And Sunny, I always kept an eye on her. I thought she would be my biggest competition. So she gave a fantastic answer uh, for top ten. So way to go, Richa Thi. To call on center stage. Test number 14, see Skunchan Moktan Tamang. Would you like to choose the judge, please? Would you like to read it out? Mrs. Neharana. Mrs. Neharana. Good evening, Skunchan. Good evening, ma'am. My question to you is in English. If beauty is God gifted, then why do we compare each other's gift in the form of a beauty contest? Thank you for the question ma'am. Yes, beauty is God gift. But every woman is beautiful. We accept the fact. But beauty contest I held to know and to prove the sentence correct, beauty with brains. Beauty contest always proves girls just don't have beauty but also has brains to walk confidently, to talk confidently and to stand confidently. Thank you ma'am. Thank you so much. Move it over now to our next So Kunjang Mukhtar that was answer fantastically answered she was my best friend at the time so I think I was a little nervous for her at the time and today sorry uh, and I was a little nervous for her at the side I'm thinking like keep on so la ram answer you so ram answer you so I remember having that feeling so well done anyway so I'm just going to move past all of this and let's go directly to top 5 Okay so top 5 announcements start basically it's right let's go All right, moving over to the next one. Do you want to do the honors of opening up the title? All right. And up next, we have our next finalist, and she is contestant number 12, Richa Thapa Mogar. Let's have her on stage, please. Our next finalist for this evening, please welcome contestant number 1, Ritu Shakya. All right, come on down, lady. I want to do the next honors. I'm just wondering where we're going to sit in a while. Anyways, the next finalist for Fem Hidden Treasure Miss Nepal 2009 is contestant number 1414, Kunchan Moktan Tamang. And last but not the least, our last finalist for FM Hidden Treasure Miss Nepal 2009 is contestant number nine, Janisha Mokhtar. <laughs> Come on down, looking absolutely beautiful. The top five finalists for the FM Hidden Treasure Miss Nepal 2009. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so uh, the first few things that I noticed and I remember. Uh, from this night is that mo backstage bhare hidi nai ra thye na kat jana bhayo kat jana bhayo and uh, if you see malvika dilli luga change karera aunu bhako thyo so when she wore a red dress and she was on stage maile pachari bhare eta top 5 dekhi sake thye ke so i thought la bhayo na hola mere top 5 so mero announce garda khere i'm a little like uh, i don't i don't know like not so prepared just to type go the second thing i noticed was when my name was announced kunjang is like बिकज आई रिमेम्बर उसलिए पछाड़ी बट अनाउंस करी उ लजांस्यू सी अगड़ी हाई तो गए कि 
And the most important thing you have to notice here is that the hammer choreography, Sunny, it goes like Ayusha, she goes to the right, right? Richa, she goes to the left. Um, Ritu, she goes so, to the right, right? And Kunchang was supposed to go to the left, but she goes to the center. So when they called me, I was supposed to be in the center and then I go to the left. This bit is important. You will know moving forward why. La. Top five answer. Bafre eating jack, lighting, shining, bunny bokor. I say, this the bokor I don't remember. But I think the lights were dark because I have a time at the So I have a light table or light are is okay. Okay, so they bokor is chapak chapak bokor. So anyways. Okay, first I will ask you this question in English. Listen carefully and then translate this into Nepali. Share an experience, your experience in your life that you have never told anyone until now. So now the question is, um, tell us an experience you've never told anyone before, okay? And what's going through my mind? La, milki, bani, no, la. And I'm like blank for at least the first 30 seconds. So I start writing very late. Unti yo video ma chai dihya chai na, but I've already started writing. So I'm writing very fast, da, 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 da. Right now, because I am the mere dimag ma. So here we go. I always thought, tell us an event, but experiences also. That's good, I guess. Let's hear the answers. Even though I know my answer, I'm like still looking forward to watching it. Let's see, kun bela swa kaunda re sumai le. Maza sumai laksa mai last mai sto sto tar lek da ke swa to lek da paper pan chate as laksa malai. That's the image I have in my head right now, but I don't know. One minute to go. I think ye malga dilit your two minutes is up on that here name merdi magma. Oh chito chito leka chito chito. Closing statement leka leka is the way that. Mala afna wandam oru kansa sunu mansa ke just to know if mine was better. I'm guessing mine was better because I won but. <laughs> I look very calm and composed yeah, at this point. I don't look nervous at all. So Kunchang is done. I think Aisha is done. I'm still writing. Ritu looks like she's done. And your time is up. Richard is still writing. And as we said, please stop your pen right now. Contest number 12, you're okay. done. We will be reading out what you have answered. Please do not elaborate more than what you have answered here. So I'll get you like to start from your side. Everyone has some of the other experiences in life that is hidden, that is unveiled. I, at one moment of life, had a person who had come to me for a donation. It was Mr. Trikaram Acharya. He was a heart patient, and I, from my own personal bank, had donated him rupees 10,000 because of which he was cured. Beauty Queen is a person who should be compassionate, convicted, committed, and should have a good character, which I feel proud of till date that I bear them all. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she's read it as it is. Moving over to our next contestant now. We have Ritu Shakya. One of the things that I've never shared with anyone and was only within myself is the fact that I was a very shy and introvert person. I never to told this to anyone because I thought this was my biggest weakness and people would tease me for this. However, everyone can see for themselves the kind of person I am, both inside and outside. Thank you. I don't know how uh, Ritu and Aisha both made the mistake of not sharing a specific experience because both of them had like uh, pageant history and they were both winners of previous pageants. I know uh, Isma Richardi definitely gave a strong answer because hers was an experience. So um, why I'm sharing my comments is because let's say Aisha didn't give a good answer, uh, Richardi gave a good answer, right? So definitely she got higher points. Uh, and then after Richardi, 
uh, Ritu also didn't give a correct answer. You know, they were confident, but it wasn't correct in the sense that experience for Ananta. So let's say I am going in at an advantage or coming after a incorrect answer. Okay, so it's now my turn. And we move over to contestant number nine. Let's see what she has to answer. Here we go. The one incident in my life that has yet to be told to anyone has to be this. I was in grade nine and was selected to play the lead role of Eliza Doolittle in the school drama, My Fair Lady. And I was replaced in the last moment. I cried myself to sleep. But this taught me to stand back and fight every time I fall and that's the reason I am here today. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number nine. She has read it as it is. And, uh, so that was my answer. Short, sweet, simple, to the point, uh, and very, very honest because this incident actually did happen, right? So I think, um, and you can hear from the audience also, I think they quite loved it. So I think I was, like I said, came at an advantageous point after Ritu. And and that that position was actually supposed to be Kunchang's position. Remember, Malia gave this to Garethini, so Kunchang was supposed to be there. So I think if Kunchang had gone to her own place, she would have had that advantage point. But now, Kiboyo, so I gave a good answer, and Kunchang is coming after a good answer. So in a way, ali kati disadvantage ho laki hai. let's see what her answer is. The last finalist for tonight, Kunchang Muktan. The one incident is when I was not selected in the top 10 of Miss Teen Nepal 2006. I acted as if I was not disappointed at all and acted so cool. But in reality, I was devastated and broken from inside. I cried for so many hours in my bathroom pretending I was taking a shower. Thank you. Well, they have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Kunchang. So why I said this is because Kunchang also gave a really beautiful answer which was very similar to my own. I know. So I think because I was placed in an advantage point, I got that slight advantage over her. And because we had both similar answers, I was like, disadvantage. These are not things that you know you pre-plan or you can think about before you go on stage, right? Why I say this and I repeat this uh, so many times whenever I'm doing trainings or whenever I'm talking about Miss Nepal because I feel like luck was, luck was on my side that day and I think uh, I was destined to be in that position this was destined to have happened uh, and so it's not just about who's the prettiest who walks the best who looks the most confident who's given the best answer of course I'm a time uh, the best answers definitely got a big extra advantage you know but it's also so much about luck and I feel like me winning Miss Nepal definitely had a lot to do with this. It was fate. And of course, I think everybody has said straight from their heart because these have been very simple and very rightful answers. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. We'll see you later in the evening. And we must tell you that they... So now top five is done. Let's just watch the final crowning moment. By now you can tell what has happened, but because this is like a this is like a past video, no? So there's no anticipation. Let's just watch the crowning. <laughs> and blame this best walk goes to contestant number zero nine, Janisa Mokdan. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Jenny Sam Mokhtan for the best walk. Let's see your walk one more time. There we go. And now moving over to our next title award right here on Femme Hidden Treasure, Miss Nepal 2009. The next. So of all the titles, I think uh, Miss Best Walk was the least expected one for me because I don't feel like I had a good walk, you know? Even through practice, I never felt confident in my walk. And so post the pageant, Mali, 
जजेस अलग घर सो देखो पनी थे कि बेस्ट वर्क होते सेपरेट जजेस होने उन्हें तो मतलब सो देते व्हाट व्हाट मेड यू यू नो मेक मी मिस बेस्ट वर्क पंदा खेरी से दे टोल मी दैट आई हैड अ रियली गुड प्रेजेंस ऑन स्टेज एंड देन आई सेड आई हैव लाइक दिस लिटल ऑकवर्ड वर्क and then they were like you were so good on stage and you look so confident and you look so happy and you look so comfortable so i think that was it more than like the catwalk khale ko thing hai na so is pasari um daily malai let's see your walk but like you can see me make the most awkward smile ever i'm like <laughs> like don't ask me to walk khale just to somebody please don't notice my walk in again miss best walk but you see other man she will the people will divert their attention to the walk they cost the walk or the rest of the time and i was like no look at me <laughs> but yeah i guess being comfortable and being owning your own walk or owning whatever you have to own on stage is is the confidence booster and i think that did it for me so i'm happy thank you judges Nine, okay number less so um kunchan became second runner as a pina uh this was i richard richardy was crowned first runner as a and i felt like i had a very strong chance uh to become miss nepal then because uh aisha me and ritu were left you know and i in my heart knew that i had the better answer so i might have won having said that you never know in pageants ko like ke mon par rounds ho ko likhi rounds ho you know so you never know but um but when my name was announced i was like so relieved and normally uh Get your runes out. They they give they give like these very uh kya bani girly type expressions. And I was like yes. And I'm like pachi. I looked at the video and I was like why did I do yes? It's not like I won some sporting competition or something. But nonetheless, it was all fun. Eventually, Miss Nepal boyo. And I think that was one of the very um very uh, defining moments in my life in my career. And so much has happened after that. But I still cherish those moments, you know. It's not like I want to identify as just a Miss Nepal for the rest of my life. Of course not. But it's something that I really appreciate and something that gave me uh, a different kind of, let's say, experience in life. One of them. And so much has happened after that, and I've never gone down that glamorous or media uh, role or road. But still, it's there somewhere. So I'm I'm quite happy. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the reaction video. Even though I don't think I gave a lot of reactions, it was just more like looking back and th- talking about the memories. But it's a fun one, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If there's anything else uh, you guys want to watch, feel free to comment. Till then, like, share, subscribe to the Kesha's vlogs, and you'll see a lot of me. Bye bye.